So, uh, yeah, I have the Cadgar up. Um, are we doing any any particular racers? Like I do left, you do right or something? Uh, that's sometimes a good plan, but I find I don't really stick to it. So, oh, here we go. And they both were so perfectly yep, synced up. It's amazing. All right. Oh, so it's perfect. Immediately finding that torch, but uh, Spooty grabbing Obsidian Torch. So a little bit better torch, half a heart. Snake takes a reset there. I, I, actually, I would I, I, I agree with that. That's a, That wasn't a very good blood shop and a waste of a bomb, and it, it can go toward a, a quick kill on a boss, so I totally agree with that. Yeah, now it looks like Spooty is not going to take the reset, so he's going to be down a bomb, which could matter. That could really matter. Yeah, Big Zone 1 can either give no you a lot of charm. bombs. Sorry, uh, yeah, so just so everybody knows, there's exactly. no Lucky Charms allowed in his band, but don't worry, it's not even in the game right now. You'll notice in the bottom left it says Condor Race. That's because they're running a mod. It is a mandatory mod. A m m mandatory. M mod mandatory. Mandatory. Indeed. Oh, it looks like, huh, looks like my Cadgar, um, both of them froze on me. Not problems. These guys are the bottom of the barrel. Just bad the steak barrel. Just a bunch Welcome of guys to Conduit. Steaks. <laughs> yeah. No, this Welcome is going to, the Conduit to be finals, everybody. insanity. These races are going to be super fast. Super quality. So get ready. They Spooty always manage ahead. to get super fast. Yeah. They always manage to get sub five at toward the end. I don't know how. No matter what we give them for a seat, <laughs> suddenly it's super fast. Not quite sub five, but certainly uh, nearing that that range. Now well, uh, this is actually a horrible close. boss to run into without any bombs. So Spooty's got to do it the hard way, and it could get real annoying if you get some bad spawns here. Whereas I imagine Steak is going to be using his bomb on this fight. Which will actually allow him to gain a lot of time on Spooty. Actually, that wasn't that bad at all exactly. in terms of uh, spawns. Very and good he's spawns. Setting up yeah, a bomb right on now, that. or he's gonna hang on to his bomb and get some. Bad I think spawns. Steak. Oh dear, this could be bad. Steak. Uh, well, I think he was screen watching Spooty to see what he got. Uh, he got a pretty good weapon though, a Titanium Cat. That's very good to have. All you need is the damage up. It's a very good in-game weapon. Absolutely, yeah. It's super duper good. And yeah, they're the bombs. Is spooty. He is gonna. Uh, Steak is also gonna be getting his weapon, which will be a titanium cat. Seated, guys. Everything's the same. And off it, they except go. except when it's not, and then it's and then it's pandemonium. Right, but it should stay a little more on the rails than it normally would with uh, luck charm. But with there are a couple ways, of exceptions. Yeah, there are ways in which it can yeah. get weird, but. All of these ways are chosen by the racer, so the racer may not know exactly. whether it's going to be positive or negative, and that was kind of the concern with the luck charm, is you don't know if it's going to be a good call or not, and so it just kind of adds variance, fair yeah. enough. That variance does exist in the game still, but it's just minimized by removing luck Exactly, charms. and since the luck charms are freebie anyways, might as well take it out, and the luck, the, the real luck, you have to consciously say, okay, I'm going to take that, and I, I understand I'm going to get nothing but blood, blood weapons and glass from here on out. That's right. That's really <laughs> how it works. Yeah. So Spooty Actually, is ahead here, but not by a ton ton. Uh, he's got a little bit of a bad situation with this Coral Rift. He's going to have to really go around the uh -oh. bend here. Uh -oh. Nice little yeah, bomb there Spooty, to, Spooty. to clear it. And he's actually there not, we go. the whole bomb concern is not one anymore. Uh, no. Our, our he needs are. five. Five for the uh, safe strat on oh Necrodancer for the spawn minimization, or four to go straight up the middle. So he's still good for one or two bombs. Stake missing a if bomb there. Fight. That's going to cost him some time. Now he's going to have to go for the... Uh, oh, he goes for a bomb there. Okay, so it works. But that, there was, a, we that go. was a big waste of time for Stake there. And so he doesn't go for any of the items. He just is running this, this base. I know he knows that he's behind, so he's just going to be pushing. And uh, that always is dangerous. Because the pushing means you might miss out on something that could potentially win you it. Like a, and on you know, the other hand, thing. if on the other hand, if you take if you realize you're in the lead and you take too long, thinking okay, I have time, suddenly you can find yourself behind. It's happened to me so many times, and it's so easy to happen in this game. Yeah, especially with the strategies that we see Stake using of just completely skipping everything and just pushing. I mean, that's the best way. I mean, if you need to go fast, that's how you do it. But you might miss yourself yep. uh, some equipment. Or or. Or the other strategy, see Glass Shrine? Take Glass Shrine. Smile. That, well, that's something that we don't have to worry about Stake making that making that decision hard at all. It's pretty easy for Stake generally. Oh generally. yeah, no, he's gotten he got really good at it. He's he's so good now. He's he's now, in my opinion, the my favorite racer I'm rooting for. He's just so fast, he's improved so much. He was my very first racing opponent ever in oh, Balls wow. of Steel. That's my very first racing opponent, and now he's way better than me. So it's uh, I'm rooting for him. Nice. Well, he might have been better than you then too. Just, just putting that. Uh, out there. Just call I mean, a spade. He, a spade. he technically, 
He technically won, but for the sake of my ego, no, I think it was a draw. It know? was a draw. We were okay. equals until just now. <laughs> Fair enough. By no. the way, notice the difference in the build for the exact reason I'd mentioned previously, and that Ring of Might is going to make a pretty good difference here. Uh, it's not so bad in Zone 4, uh, just for killing the Ghoulims, really. Most of the enemies have two health. Zone 3, though, it can be a big deal. And, uh, yeah, indeed, but that three damage will help a ton yeah. against mini bosses and any yeah, other golems. Golems, instead of three hits, it only requires two. It's way less cool on the ground. Makes things way easier. Yeah. Going for oh, that, please, uh, okay. the Aria charm. Oh, baby. Yeah. It's going to be good. Give oh, yeah. All those extra damage. Uh, he, you're almost he, dead. And he's almost, he's almost there. All he needs is to... Actually, there's nothing in the zone that does half a heart of damage to him right now, so he has well, to be very, skeleton. very careful. The skeleton will do it. Okay, true. Yeah. True. You have to be careful about that. So I have this now, this innate, irrational fear of any wall pick in the, in the wall. I, 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 I think, okay, somehow I'm going to get hit by it. I don't know why. Every time I see one now. So every it's time I see somebody walk by one, I think he's going to get hit. It's a good fear to have. Wall pigs are kind of sketchy. Oh man, Spooty with the really nice use of the uh, whatchamajigs. Oh my goodness, I can't think of the word, but it's the, the heart bomb transplant. strat for the. Uh, yeah, the heart transplant they're using the bomb strat on the food vendor, uh, yeah, and that was excellent. Uh, people are a little split on actually killing the food vendor or not uh, in a race, especially of this caliber. But when you use the heart transplant, it makes that decision a little bit easier. Exactly. It, it really depends on if you have to push or not. And uh, if you have the time, definitely kill and, you know, get your, uh, get your, uh, what's it, your charm of uh, the gluttony. the hungry charm. Yeah, I can't remember. Gluttony, thank you. Yeah, get, get your gluttony charm and, and oh, do that. But man. if you have to push, just think that as you go. Things got a little spicy there with Spooty. And by spicy, I mean the opposite of spicy because it was an ice dragon, but it got real scary. Uh, but he handled it. And we're seeing the difference of the St two, uh, the damage difference, the two versus the three right now. But Stake did do a exactly. lot of catching up, and he's really not terribly far behind. However, that uh, three damage might have just pushed Spooty just enough to be ahead, just long enough to, to pass up, uh, to stay ahead of Stake, which we're seeing right now. Good point brought up in chat that Spooty did have the Earthquake Scroll, and that is going to give him a substantial lead coming into this Necrodancer fight. Yeah, that's, and that again that's goes back to Stake just pushing and not really paying any attention to what he had to, uh, or the items around him. And so Spooty does have a bit of a lead here, possibly an insurmountable lead. We'll find out. Stake bring himself down to half a heart just so that he can yeah, he's... go fast. Um, but it looks like it's going to be too little too late there as yeah. Spooty does get the kill and jumps down the stairs. And GG. GG. Wow. Excellent. That was great. Not the fastest of seeds. I mean, this is one of the slower races we'll probably see tonight. I know that's weird to say, sub 8, but <laughs> that was a little bit of a slower oh, seed. Oh, 7.30? Oh, man, that was slow. Guy, guys, go home. Go with the conduit. Jeez. Gotta say, by the but way, yeah, really. these Dead Ringer cat strats that we're seeing these weeks is fascinating. Um, I've seen it a few times now where you kind of you give him a little boop on the way by, and then he won't charge you, and then by the time you're by him, then he'll charge right into the yeah. bong. It's, it's really interesting. And Stake, Stake took a lot of time to develop that. I, I remember going into his uh, stream, and he was working on a lot of uh, Dead Ringer fast strats. Especially with the cat and other various weapons. So, yeah, it's definitely paid off. It's very fast. Yeah. Um, Jack saying Stake didn't bomb on Death Metal, and this is the reason he lost. Yeah, that's uh, that matters. Standard You're right. Standard bombs. So, I think that that that's was a major true. factor. However, um, I think that it was he found himself falling behind. And, well, I mean, yeah, it's kind of a butterfly effect. Like, he fell behind, so should he have uh farmed up a little bit more i mean spooty was farming up and it was paying off if he didn't find things like the earthquake scroll then maybe that farming up would not have paid off and that is actually a downside of going super fast uh, as opposed to just you know farming a build and then going fast you can go fast initially and then you start slowing down as your build just start just cannot handle the later levels whereas yeah. if you farm a little ahead of time say you take two minutes out of uh zone one but you have a full build now you can go really fast and not have to worry about anything else. Yeah. So there, there is a balance between the two. And sometimes taking one decision can really uh, determine the outcome, of course. Like you, you don't see something and the other racer sees it and it just makes all the difference. Well, that did occur at the very, very beginning where Stakes saw the, the torch. And so instead of going into the blood shop and taking the obsidian torch and then sort of already realizing that he'd 
gotten it like like Spooty did. He's like, oh, oh, I've already got a torch. All right, I'll just stick with it. He did the reset. Actually, and kept that bomb. Yeah, I think. But he didn't use it to his I own advantage. I think the reset. The reset could have cost him that much time too. Well, they actually. both now ran the seed at almost the exact same speed. I don't know if you saw the times there, but it was uh, what was it, seven forty-one yeah. to seven thirty-nine. So, so very close. Spooty ran it a little bit faster, but Steak ran it like a couple seconds back. But it was that reset that was the difference in the race. Exactly. That's yeah. Exactly. About that's about what five five to ten seconds at the most, where they both check the shop and then Steak reset. That could have cost the race. Yeah. Well, there was a lot of factors. R don't forget that Steak also um, missed his bomb on the Coral Rift fight, and that probably cost him about 10 seconds. True, yes. Uh, that, all, all these little subtle things. And yeah, as Sorority is pointing out, people are just too good at the game now. When you get to this high level of play, the, the most minor of mistakes can cost you the entire race. You, ha you have to be on point the entire time, and there's a lot to track. A lot yeah. to, to keep in mind, a lot of strats to remember. And any slight mistake can cost you the entire race, even by seconds. Yeah, and and I do want to point out that um, it's not something to be afraid of, the fact that these races are too fast. It's something to embrace because we get to watch these super hype races. Because oh, exactly. we do have lots of opportunities for people who may not feel like they're quite as good as these racers to actually race. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about that later on. Uh, I have a special guest interview later. Ooh. I'll, just, I'll just say that. And then... <clears throat> nice. Ooh, a reset there from Steak. Interesting. Oh, yeah. Ouch. Yeah, I got monkey. Uh, oh, yeah. Um, <clears throat> but also, uh, we've got our Conduit League as well. And if you haven't signed up already, exactly. sign-ups are available for April uh, at the end of the month. So feel free to sign up for that. And, and uh, for anybody who, uh, uh, expanding on that, for anybody who's intimidated by, you know, the high-level play here, Stake started out this entire season really rusty. Dying a lot, getting eight-and-a-half-minute average times. Uh, he hadn't played in a while. So, and now here he is in the finals. Yeah, we did have some concern so about Steak at the beginning just because uh, he did take a bit of time off. And, and his style is something I think you really need to uh, stay in, in fit form with when you're so risky. Exactly. And so it's good to see that he's actually sort of overcame that. And we got a blueberry whip. Oh boy. Now, are we going to see oh. Steak notice this? Probably not. I feel like he's in like full on panic. Like, let's kill... Oh, Here's hoping the, now that... The gigantism most... scroll use. Interesting choice. That's Not very interesting. sure. It, now we'll see... Uh, he... He, he's trying to go as fast as possible, so I agree. Yeah, but I don't know if it was the most beneficial use of it. I mean, you could argue maybe. He did sure. see the blueberry whip, so you can see that he hung on to... Uh, Indeed, yeah. And, and, and went for oh. purple, but kind of got screwed anyways because it was the ring of gold. Although Golden Dagger uh, Ring of Gold can be used to an advantage if you're ready for it. It's kind of weird, but you can use it. So on the beat after killing an enemy, you're going to have infinite damage. So you can kind of run through people pretty well. We just saw him there opening up a barrel. But he is really falling behind now. But we'll see. I mean, the whip, one thing it's really good at is getting you killed. Exactly. It's uh, right. it, Now, uh, Spooty has up to three damage. However, now he's going to catch absolutely everything he's moving into. So it's yeah. going to slow him down as well. Yeah. And Spooty's going to... hes I mean, all it takes is one good chest to, that, for Stake to find a weapon to catch up. That's all it's going to take. Problems pointing out that more than anything, he just wants to see a gold build win. That's true. We don't see the gold builds or the blood builds really um, take it. But that's because you kind of need to find these combos to make them valuable. It's kind of interesting and that you hoping. have these sorts of different builds, glass build, gold build, phasing build, blood build. Um, oftentimes, we just kind of see more of the standard builds, but uh, yeah, it's cool to have these sort of unique builds um, come to fruition. And Stake was experimenting a lot with blood builds as well, taking a, a blood, uh, like a blood drum and a blood spear, and then just constantly keeping himself down to half a heart. Yes. And it actually works pretty well. It works super well. Very very careful, though. It's not even that dangerous. Oh, and Spooty's phasing sense was tingling. Oh. And there it is. He finds himself some phasing. Now, he does not have a torch, which is a little spooky. And is he going to? Yes. He picks up the jeweled dagger, too, which is a phenomenal item. It's super duper Oh, good. that's great. I think Steak, Five damage straight up. Steak was trying to set up a gold kill here. Now he's going to find himself uh, in a bit of a queen factory here. Queens all uh -oh. day. Yep. Well, one oh, queen, but a very nice gold yep. kill, though on the king I'm not sure how intentional it was but it did kind of play out nicely he's keeping the gold combo and going with the fireball interesting very interesting maybe he was maybe he was hoping for a damage up ring 
Maybe he's awesome. That's the... very likely what it was. Yeah, maybe some screen watching occurred. Although I'm not sure what's very likely who he got in that chat. Actually, true. Yeah, no. Yeah, that. Yep. You can tell right now he went straight for the shop. There's the uh, there's the jewel dagger. He knew there was a weapon here. He wanted to get a purple chest for either a good ring or a spell, which he got. And now he's just taking off. But now I don't think the ring of gold is going to keep up with the ring of phasing. Yeah, pretty... he'll end the run richer, but not this, sooner. This is true. Yeah, you can see he already has that gold advantage. Uh, totally inconsequential in these kinds of races, but he does have it. Exactly. Oh, a nice However, fireball. that fireball spell might help quite a bit. Yeah, that fireball oh, spell you is know, I didn't... really nice. I didn't see it, but Spooty did uh, pick up a torch. I did not see when. Yeah, he got the torch of foresight. Very, very good. It's a bright torch range. Very, uh, very good, for uh, especially for Zone 4. Now he's going to be looking for something to speed up his... Dead Ringer fight, potentially a war drum, maybe uh, maybe an earthquake scroll or something of that sort. Now, there's one guy who knows yeah, how to do the wall strats with. Uh... Oh man, uh, sorry, with phasing, it's oh, going ooh. to be Spooty. He is a very he knows what he's doing. He can do it double the speed. Uh, now he's exactly. in a lot oh, of trouble. Oh, oh no, he got frozen. Oh there. no, he's that got it. He's got it. A clutch. If he did not have that shield oh, oh, oh. scroll, he was dead city. Oh, that man. was a lot of damage he was about to take. Getting stomped on by the dragon, that's times double damage, minus, what is that, a heart? So he would have taken five hearts of damage there? Uh, which is uh, a quick yeah. calculation, getting stomped on by the blue dragon in the or in the goo. That was that's real just spicy. The dragon. But, uh, yeah, well, it doesn't stack. You only take damage from one source, right? So. Well, he, yeah, but he got hit by a bunch of other things, too, on the way through, so. Um, sure, yeah. It's, oh, man. Right, so in clutch. subsequent beats. Um, yeah, now he's handling uh, this zone fairly well. Of course, that phasing is doing wonders for him. It's kind of keeping uh, Stake at bay here. Unfortunately, Stake needs yeah. to rely on these kinds of strats. He's and there's a for Spooty. that wall pig could have ended him just there. I don't know if you saw that. <laughs> that wall pig was ready to wrestle, but he was just one... Uh, one tile out of range of it, which is kind of crazy. Oh man! Okay, yeah, this is very, very, very sketchy for uh, for Stake right now. He's at one heart, only leather armor, very minimal build compared to Spooty here. Uh, again with the minimal oh. build. Oh my goodness! He gets teleported oh. in the potion room. Now it's a good thing he had a bomb, but now he's down to two bombs and he had to use it. Exactly, Meanwhile, and he needed three bombs because Spooty only needs one for the Necrodancer fight, and that yeah, that's it. I mean, Spooty has this. Yeah, Spooty's pretty much got this one in the bank. He's got uh, five hearts remaining and uh, minimal spawns here with this. Uh, sorry, with the uh, oh, phasing man. start on that. So yeah, he's in good shape. Unfortunately for Stake, Stake's gonna have to oh! come back and oh, gets Wall Pig. Now he really was out of it anyways. In the goop. But um, yeah, that's he probably a just allowed it. He and probably this just looks like take we're sitting at a sub seven, barely. Look at that, six fifty nine thirty five. Wow. 35. GG's to Spooty. Congratulations, nice little run there. And Spooty is up that two. Stake's got a three zero to come back. Let's see at least. I want to see at least a couple wins here by Stake. Let's make this a five, guys. Let's do come this. Come on, Stake. Come on, Stake. That was awesome. That was great. Absolute GG. I mean, if you notice, the first race was seven thirty. Now it's six fifty nine. We're trending downwards, guys. So I mean, Not I'm predicting. Not if, yeah, this will be if, about a four ten. Yeah, if four ten. Yeah, four. You know, four ten. And then, and then eventually, we're, people are going to be moving as fast as the uh, the bar task that's in forty eight seconds, and then that'll be the entire race. So like, and they started, and they finished. GG somehow found a teal spell, and they're just dropping through the floors. <laughs> oh man! Oh, could you imagine a teal spell and the ring of mana kill three things? Drop the no worst floor. thing ever. <laughs> it's kind of like thing uh, ever. the shovel in Isaac. With like yeah, the except, habit or something. At least the shovel fails after uh, after the um, was it womb one. You can't use the shovel if you want to go to the chest. Yeah. Whereas here, you're just eh, I'm just gonna drop through. Yeah. Be real bad. Although real it would bad. be funny if there was a very hidden uh, Easter egg in this game where it sends you somewhere completely different that nobody's ever seen before, and you just die. That'd be pretty <laughs> funny. That sounds like too much effort for what it's worth. <laughs> I don't know, Blue Blue. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's raising their stakes in the chat. Raising the stakes. The stakes are pretty high right now. Maybe this is where stake Come flourishes. On stake. Come on, but, yeah, stake. Spooty definitely one of the top competitors in this tournament. So, he unsurprisingly, is playing very well.
Um, but we'll oh, see yeah. how Stake can do. Stake has been having to run the minor builds, and that's been costing him. He just falls a it little really bit behind, has. runs a minor build. And this is the racers pushing each other. It's what we're seeing. This It's the story of this season, especially late season. We are seeing... Man, the stakes have been Rosen. Rosen? If, if, I, may, if I may add, Stake has a beef with Spooty right now. Uh oh, and it's yeah, it's uh, it's we got we need we need steak puns as many steak puns as possible. We need a power up steak. Come on, guys. Power of steak, and we got the early Shriner, and it looks like he's gonna be taking a phasing shrine. Oh no, oh, this is stack's not. Stack's gonna good. cost early phasing. That could either go really well or really bad, and because probably if, if really can't well, find it's Spooty. Torch. Yeah, he's gonna hone right in on that oh, yeah, torch. Yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah, I'm surprised you didn't see the uh, phasing before. Stake or he didn't take it. Notices that, yeah, Spooty takes phasing and thinks he has to match him. Oh, man. Definitely seen a lot of of uh, Stake screen watching. That's for sure. Half that, that's wonder very if maybe weird. he should just hunker down and just run his own race. Because he'd be ahead right now. But I guess without the ring of phasing. Kind of important. Yeah, I'm very curious as to why he didn't take that. Oh, my goodness. The shot. The wombo combo. Oh, this is oh my god! Uh, okay, Stake, how, how is this gonna happen? You crazy individual! He doesn't Stake, have money for it. Stake, Stake's gonna somehow have to lure the shopkeep out. Oh, I thought he should just farm for it. This is gonna take way longer. It's possible. Oh, Jump out of the wall this and can attack him. Or is he's he just gonna luring have to lure him out of the shop? Just lure so him out. He needs to lure him out far enough. This is ridiculous. I kind of love it. Needs to lure him out far enough oh. that the. Okay. Okay, careful. Okay, now he should. Oh, he needs to. He's oh, trying he's to walk on the wrong on side of the side. Wall. Uh oh. Steak, please. Steak, steak. Okay. Steak. Oh, oh steak, please. Oh my Ooh. god. Yeah, that's sketchy. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna speak that, here a little ahead that's, of me here. That's enough. The right. shopkeeper's now. That's what he did. He stuck on the hump. And he can take everything he wants and just run. Yeah. And this could potentially catch him right up to Spooty because uh, that Spooty wombo has combo, just a, yeah, he's uh, got the cat. cat. But uh, he doesn't have a, a torch right now. Neither racer does. So I mean, uh, it's a bit sketchy. But however, he has an entire zone behind. But Stake does have a fireball spell, and he could theoretically oh, uh, catch Stake. a. Oh, that's and that's not a the compass. mistake you want to make. Stake, oh, uh, man, the blood shielding there. Not what you want to be doing. Yeah, I was wondering why he was doing that. I, I, my first thought was, was he nervous about no, the, the it was, uh, no, he was trying to fireball. And that's a glass oh, rapier. Goodness. No torch. He went for weapon. Spooty not... I mean, fair enough. Base cat is not your not your favorite weapon, but... Okay, not finding exactly. some bombs is pretty good for Spooty. Spooty is so ahead right now. This is such a risky play, but I love it. What a funny way to go and after that shopkeep too. I loved that. He could have actually killed the great. shopkeep with the phasing and it Very might have been faster. If he don't. Steak, Careful. steak. Oh, you can kill him from inside steak. the wall, steak. What are you doing? Steak, you have you have the wobble uh, combo. And he also um, blood shielded again when he really didn't need to. Okay, he can throw here. This will be a nice fast kill, but he's still a zone back. Very fit. <sighs> yeah, Spooty's now just gunning it. He knows he has to move. Because one mistake and, well, Well, you know, Stake's going to be checking be right the torch. By. There's a torch for Spooty. That's going to help him out tremendously. Yeah, that's going to help him. Frost Charm, With not five what he's looking too. for, but still not too bad. Yeah, now, this is just a case. zone. Uh, he's got to go fast, though. That's the problem. The pressure is on. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah, he has to go very fast. Come on, Stake. Stake this, doesn't you have seem to, to be this. attacking from within the wall, which is kind of the reason you get the Wombo Combo in the first place. However, I think he is doing a lot of screen watching because he, he seems to be going straight for um, well, he's got the uh, I, all the exits. Yeah, well, he has a compass, but he's going straight for the like all the things Spooty picked up he, uh, with a, a fair a fair amount of precision. So that's very good. He's doing Maybe a lot he's of, got a of screen watching. Something we talked about: people getting co-pilots who just say, "Okay, now you're on this zone, do this." I I, I, I actually had that when I raced with my uh, with my fiance. Oh yeah. She. Yeah. Uh, yeah, she watched while I raced, and uh, she watched the other race. She said, "Yeah, he's on this uh, on this level." Went, okay, cool, thank you. And it, it actually does help. It does it I help? I believe it. it. All right, here you go, Stake. Come on, you are so far back right now. <sighs> Come on, man. Spooty is just so. F oh, uh, is, he's about to be a zone and a half behind. Oh yeah, my goodness. Spooty is really cooking here. 
Spoody's just like, oh, I uh, was I going slow? Just kidding. Yeah, I mean, he's managing to handle this super scary build. Stake knowing where to go for the torch. So I think you're 100% right on that. He is keeping one eye on Spoody at all times. Or maybe he has a coke pilot. I don't know. It's very true. Very possible. Now he's attacking from within the wall, which is smart. But it's just he's so far back. And there's nothing that's really going to stop. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, oh, oh, my I, I goodness. I got to be careful what hit. I say. Yeah. He just took a big tank <sighs> there. And he's uh, he lost two hearts. Spoody, I'm Spoody. talking about. Spoody. Yeah, well, Spooty stalls the chicken. He should probably eat it now. He's, oh, uh, yeah, there we go. There it is. Really terrible layout here for Stake. Oh, my God. But, there is. Oh, Just that's use a the lot. Frost Charm. Just, oh, jeez. Oh, 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 no. You're at half a heart, Steak. Wait a minute. How come it didn't fire off the Frost Charm? Did he do all that damage to himself with the blood magic? I think so. I think he did. All right, Steak. Got to be careful. I think so. Oh, oh man. Spoody's on dead ring already. Yeah, My this goodness. This is an easy kill here as well. Very nice. Very good setup. Oh, I was wondering why he did extra oh, damage. No, the rails. And it's because he's got... Oh, yeah. Dead ring. There we fine. go. Very nicely done. Whew. And, I mean, he's gaining on him, but... Yeah, Spooty, Spooty has it. Oh, man, what a way to go. What a way to go. I mean, it was an honest, awesome effort. Like, GG's to stake. He does have the plus damage because of the Aria charm, actually. Indeed. Um, I mean, yeah, Spooty's in pretty good shape right now. He's got um, he's got two ha hearts only, but minimal spawn... Mon uh, spawn minimization. Aim, so minimization, yeah. And Stake is almost at Dead Ringer, like, but it's that too, was too late. Like a great effort, but what a fast great run. Six fourteen. Very good. So a total and a hundred percent three O of Stake. Once again we're tr we're trending downwards. So seven thirty, six fifty nine, six fourteen. Next up world record. Next up world record. Well